So let's go ahead and, and go to PV module placement. Fantastic. So as I look at PV module placement, the tool is telling me, okay, let's click on a roof section to place some PV modules. So I'm gonna click on a roof section. I'm gonna place some PV modules by clicking the add PV modules button. So let's go ahead and select a manufacturer. You can free type and it'll make some recommendations based on what you're typing. So let's do some Panasonic's. Uh, same with the model number. I find it very easy to type in the power classification. So maybe I had some old 285s that I wanted to use. You know, most people are using what, probably 305s or 330s. So that's what I'm gonna type, 330, uh, this one. Okay, so I have my model selected. I can look at the specifications and make sure, you know, that this is the, the correct model. The racking type flush is gonna be selected by default for residential homes, especially if it has a roof pitch. Uh, and that just means parallel with the plane of the roof. If you have a flat roof, then you're gonna click tilted. It allows you to change the azimuth or the tilt of the array super easy. Notice how since it's flush, it's locked. The azimuth is locked to match the azimuth of the roof. Uh, so again, if I wanted to change the tilt, I could, I can change the azimuth. All right, so I'm gonna keep flush mounted. I'm gonna say portrait. And then I'm gonna take the column spacing and column spacing is just the, you know, the width of space between the solar panels and a column. And I'm gonna say one inch because, you know, uh, mid clamps, you know, that's, that's about right, one inch. And then for row spacing, you know, most people put panels right on top of other panels and there's no inner row spacing. I was always the guy to, uh, uh, to add, you know, just a clip and keep a, a one inch row. Uh, in between my rows. So I'm going to click apply and then to drop some modules on the roof surface, you just left click and then drag some modules over and we can see all of the modules that were added. Now I live in California and we have walking setbacks or fire lanes. So I have to maintain three feet from the edge of the roof, but with the new code, if I specify the roof uh, entry, I only have to have three feet on one side. You still need one and a half feet from the ridge. So I'm gonna draw those two lines, uh, one and a half feet from the ridge. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna to have to delete these two modules. Okay, so I can do that by clicking on this and just moving this line over. And now I have you know, a nice sizable array, it looks like. This looks good. I might be able to get, what do you think? I might be able to get those two modules in here it's going to be close if I just move these over. So I'm going to teach you another trick. If I want to add another array, so we're just going to click the plus button again, and we're just going to move. Oh, man, I think we can totally do it. Yeah, that looks awesome. I think we got, I think we got two more modules. I think we did. All right, so that's what that looks like. Uh, if I wanted to put more modules on the, another roof surface, you can either click entire site and then click on the roof surface, or you can just double click on the roof surface. All right, so I'm gonna put some modules here and click add PV modules and it recommends the, or it remembers the modules that I just had in there. So that's, that's what it's gonna start with by default. And it looks like I'm not gonna be able to maintain, you know, that one and a half foot walking lane, right? So I might have to get rid of this top row, but I might be able to fit some solar panels in by, um, I might be able to fit some solar panels in on landscape, like a landscape orientation. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go PV module plus. And if I want to change the orientation of the modules, all I have to do is click this arrow and then click landscape and then close the arrow. And now when I left click and drag, it's just going to drop some PV modules on landscape. And it looks like I can totally do that. Cool. Um, let's, I think I might be able to get two more. And it should still remember my landscape. Cool. All right. I, I like the way this is shaping up. It looks like we have 28 modules so far. Uh, 9.24 kilowatts uh, DC with an estimated annual energy of 15.89 uh, uh, megawatt hours. All right. That looks that looks pretty good. Um, I would you know. Let's put some modules up here. Why not? It's just money after all. <laughs> all right, cool. 16.56 uh, 
Uh, that exceeds, oh man, that's tough. So we can do 11.2, we'll leave these modules here, we'll run this simulation, and then I may remove some modules to show you what the batteries look like. For additional information and access to more in-depth tutorials, go to solaredge.com, select Login and eLearning to get access to the library of SolarEdge learning materials.